Here we go, Jim Halsey, Randy Weatherford. First two big cars. Going to do battle here. Both drivers out and gone. Weatherford, 363, 205 miles per hour for Randy Weatherford. Jim Halsey clicks it off early, 380. At a buck 66, 906 down low for Randy Weatherford. 925 down low for Jimmy Halsey. Woo! Better be ready to go this morning. First two. Ready to do battle. Slightly above average on the racetrack here this morning at Virginia Motorsports Park. Bill Devine and Billy Albert next two to do battle. Billy Albert, Bill Devine, Billy Albert, Pro Nitrous Runner, left-hand side of the racetrack for Ossenbach Chevrolet and Albert Racing Engines. Home state race for Mr. Billy Albert. Right-hand side, Bill Devine out of Michigan, Pro Street Runner for Bullseye Turbo. And here comes the big man, Fletcher Cox. Must mean Camaro Joe is coming out next. Kind of can't mistake Fletcher. That's actually kind of the fun part of when Fletcher's at the racetrack. It's like, oh, found him. For years, Jamie Miller was always lost on the starting line, so his wife made him start wearing red hats, so that way she could find him on the racetrack. I don't think Fletcher's mom has that problem. Yeah, we're going to start playing a Where's Fletcher edition. Sort of like Where's Waldo, but we'll put that. That's going to be our next PDRA business adventure. Where's Fletcher? We're going to do that with starting line pictures. I feel like it's not going to be, or it's going to be a lot easier than the Where's Waldo program. Anyways, back to racing. Billy Albert and Bill Devine. You're next to Devine, your turbo car right-hand side. The only clutch entry in Pro Street as well. Pretty neat hot rod right there if you've never gone over to check it out. Devine, a longtime veteran in the category. Has seen a lot of different combinations and a lot of different race cars over his time and a race car. Billy Albert fully staged. Billy Albert out and gone. Front end in the air. Clicks it early. Bill Devine, 416 at a buck 84. Billy Albert, 938 down low, 386 at 161 miles per hour. So Bill Devine, first run to the finish line for him today. 109 short time, 416 at 184 miles per hour. First two pair. Both look, all four cars looking really nice to start their day off. Couple of pro boost entries now. Camaro, Joe Albright, left-hand side of the racetrack, and the Carolina kid, Travis Harvey. So like we said, a couple of Pro Booster runners. Going to throw down next to be Camaro, Joe Albright, left-hand side. Travis Harvey, right-hand side to screw-blown Chevrolet, tuned by Mr. Steve Petty.
out and gone. Nova Joe goes a lift and clicks it. Travis Harvey. Woo! Good morning. 361, 208 miles per hour. Travis Harvey looking good in the Chevrolet. Right hand side of the racetrack, 917 short time, 243 to the split. Travis Harvey, 361, 208 miles per hour. Nova Joe, 918 down low. Best 60 foot time out of that car we've seen in a long time. It was hooked up and gone, trucked left. Put a little rear steer in that bad boy, and that'll be a good lap for Fletcher Cox and the team. So looks like Patrick Barnhill and the gang's getting a handle on that thing. Nova Joe, 918 down low. Best 60 foot yet for them. Dane Wood, left-hand side of the racetrack, Pro Nitrous Runner. Local race for Dane Wood and the gang. Right-hand side, Rodoshan Bosado. Far from a local race, all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Wood hangs on to it after a little bit of tire shake. A little slow early, 957, 251 to the split. Clicks it early and goes 380 at a buck 75. Rodejean Brasado, 935 down low. A little bit of tire shake, clicks it off. We'll coast down. So we continue on in our long lines of Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street. Cars that are all the way in the lanes. Two faces that didn't make it out at Galat made it out of Virginia. Johnny Camp, left-hand side of the racetrack. Pro Charger Power for the Hills Bell Chevrolet. Right-hand side, Tricky Ricky Smith. The Parkway Ford Mustang, right-hand side of the racetrack. It's a Pro Nitrous Pro Boost. Going to do a little bit, do a little battle this morning here on Thursday. It's a rookie sitting behind the microphone, so everybody that wants to make fun of all the stutters and the jokes, ha-ha, very funny, first day. Johnny Camp, Ricky Smith. Camp shakes, Ricky gone, clicks it at the 3.30. 4.13 at a buck 33. 
handful of mid-track cutoffs here this morning. It's kind of the par of the course usually when it comes to testing. Johnny Camp, 929 down low, even through the tire shake. So that hot rod was trying to get somewhere in a hurry. Two more new new cars for the 2024 season. The left-hand side, Jason Lee. Coast Packing Company, screw-blown Chevrolet, left-hand side of the racetrack. If the car looks familiar, there's a reason why. Todd Tuttero won a championship in that hot rod a couple years ago. So the ex-Todd Tuttero championship car, now owned by Eric Gustafson and Coast Packing Company, driven by Jason Lee of PTP Racing. Cam and the boys getting that thing backed up into the groove. I think they did some testing down at Galat before they came here and look to be making some progress in this thing. Right-hand side of the racetrack, Chris Cadato, pro street runner out of Michigan. Full-size Dodge Ram pick-em-up truck with a screw blower. Just seems like a combination that just screams, hell yeah. That's pretty much all you got for it. Big truck, big screw blower. Seems fun. The one fun thing about this thing usually is if you've seen this truck run before, it will carry the front wheels for a long way down the racetrack when it's on a pretty good lap. So Jason Lee, left-hand side, all eyes on the Pro Boost runner to see if the new, new face to Pro Boost and a car that we've all seen do damage in the class, see how they do this weekend, first lap on a PRA racetrack this season coming up right about now. So Chris Cadotto, Jason Lee, your next pair. Right about now. Jason Lee out and gone. 365, 204 miles per hour. Chris Cadotto wheels up all the way to the 330 cone. Shuts her down early. 109 down low for Cadotto. Coast to a 437 at only 130 miles per hour. So Jason Lee, 923 down low. 245 to the split. 365.7 at 204 miles per hour, only 120 out the back. So expect to see that car pick some up in the back split later on when they throw some timing back in it. Go about 118 out back, and that could be a 363 at a later time in the weekend. Chris Reaney and Chris Hardy. My money's on Chris. Reaney clicks that early. Chris Hardy, 473 at 158 miles per hour. New hot rod right-hand side of the racetrack. So they are working the bugs out on that thing. So brand new car out of Pandy's Performance, right-hand side of the racetrack. So they are working on that. Getting that thing worked out. Slick looking piece. Looks like they debuted it at Galat, and it was absolutely brand new out of the chassis shop. So they're getting that thing worked out. 473 at 158. Sound like a real low boost pass, so they will be working on that as we get through testing. Right hand side of the racetrack, Marcus Butner's car, and Jaycox behind the wheel. 
see if he remembers how to do this. Left hand side, Miss Melanie Salemi. Melanie Salemi, left-hand side, the alley installation, Chevrolet Camaro, purple rain side piece. Gonna be your next car on the left-hand side of the racetrack, right-hand lane. Marcus Butner's car, Jay Cox behind the wheel. Is this like a, I wanna see if I can remember how to do this? Midlife crisis. I'm gonna go midlife crisis. Gavin and I agree, midlife crisis. So Jay Cox back behind the wheel. Not sure if this is just for a testing cameo or a bucket list check. Not real sure. Good to see Jay back in a driver's driving suit here this weekend. At least if it's just for a Thursday test run. So a couple of good hot rods on the starting line. We will see what each car can do battle right here. Melanie Salemi from Buffalo, New York, left-hand side, and Jay Cox in Marcus Butner's Tobaccoville, North Carolina-based Heartbreaker Chevrolet. Jay Cox, 374, 198 miles per hour, clicks it a little bit early. Melanie, 921, down low, drives into tire shake and aborts mission. Coast down to a 669. Red Hat siding. Good morning, Jamie Miller. About time you made it to the party. Good to see Johnny holding up the other side of the Miller family. As Jamie was cuddling with his pillow a little bit long this morning. So Jay Cox, 951 down low, 374 to buck 98. Maybe testing out some new stuff because Jay was wheeling the deal a little bit farther than you normally would on a Thursday test run. Right hand side of the racetrack, AML Motorsports. Scott Lang for Keenan Allen. Rolling in the right hand side of the racetrack, left hand side, The Undertaker, Mr. Tommy Gray. Looks like Tommy Gray's car has shut down for the moment so put a check on him looks like he might have right lane single with scott lang all right guys attention to the pits attention to the pits extreme pro stock extreme pro stock and pro 632 Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632 will take you out of lanes one and two. Once again, Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632 will take you out of lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, we need you out of lanes one and two. Once again, lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632, we need you now for test run number one.
Tommy Gray, left-hand side, take two for The Undertaker this morning. Right-hand side, Jason Harris, the champ. Party time, Chevrolet. Coming in off a runner-up finish at Galat. Not the way he wanted to do it. Got beat on a hole shot by King Tut. Talked to Jason for a little bit last night, and I can promise you he is not planning on doing that same program again this weekend as Jason is a known lever in the category, and I can promise you he is going to try and turn that around here this morning. Jason Harris out and gone, clicks it at the 330. Tommy Gray, 362, 207. Welcome back, Tommy Gray. 920 down low, 244 to the split, 362, 207. Tommy Gray, Jason Harris, 913 down low, 244 to the split as well. Clicks it to coast down to a 392. Jason would have been right around that 362, 363 range with a pro charge party time Chevrolet. So the world champ looking good. Preston Tanner, left-hand side of the racetrack, coming off a rough weekend at Glott Motorsports Park that ended with a semifinal finish, which was really the only highlight of the weekend for Preston. Preston with a backup front end on the car. A lot of spares. Probably got all his bullets back together. But, whoo boy, what a weekend for the Tanner group and Pro Boost. So Preston coming off a semifinal finish will continue his quest on a PDRA World Championship here this weekend and try to keep all the parts where they're supposed to be on the Chevrolet left-hand side. Cam Clark, right-hand lane. The nitrous oxide entry for Mark Engel. See what both drivers look like coming off the trailer. Preston straight into tire shape. Cam Clark, 373, 201 miles per hour. Preston on brand new sticker tires this morning. Looked like they had a lot of grippage as they left the starting line. So once again, Pro Nitri or Pro Nitrous Pro Boost Pro Street is about to complete. Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632. Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632. We need you now to lanes one and two. I have all of one in the lanes. So Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. We need you now to lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. Need you now to lanes one and two. Bring them on down. Nick Augustino, left-hand side. Chucky Olsh, right-hand side. Next two up. Extreme Pro Stock Pro 632 will take you to lanes one and two. One and two. One and two. Numbers are hard sometimes. It's okay. Once again, Extreme Pro Stock Pro 632 will need you now to lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock Pro 632. Once again, we need you now to lanes one and two. Nick Augustino, Chucky Olsh. Augustino, left hand side out of Old Canada. Small block twin turbo charge 69 Chevrolet on the left hand side. Chuck Olsh stayed after Galat, made some extra runs, made sure the passenger door stayed on for those extra runs this time. So Lauren, Chucky, and the gang. 
Going to try to have a little bit better outing here this weekend for the Mount Airy, Maryland-based Chevrolet Camaro. Roche Racing Engines. Everybody on board that camp. All eyes on the two on the starting line for the first run of the weekend for each one. Chucky Olsh out and gone. 364, 206 miles per hour. Welcome to the party, Chuck Olsh. 364, 206. Nick Augustino, 403 at a buck 89. What a lap for Chuck Olsh. That was a good looking run right off the trailer for them. Lauren ought to be happy with that. About time Chuck listened to Lauren. We all see how that worked. Chuck Olsh, 364, 3, 206 miles per hour. Welcome to the party, guys. Kenny Lane, Kurt Stedding, your next two to do battle. Kenny Lang, left-hand side. Follows in the foot tracks of his Canada teammate of Nick Augustino. I don't know really if they know if they're teammates, but if you come from another country, I'm going to call you a teammate. So Lang for Al Billis Racing. Made some pretty good laps down at Galat. Had some people a little bit worried about him. And I can promise you Al Billis is trying to do the same thing here at Virginia this weekend. Kurt Stedding, right-hand side for P2 Contracting. P2 Racing, WIO Motorsports. And the gang, Brad Schmidt on the headset. Must mean Todd is pretty close because Ty is usually on the headset for these things. So Brad Schmidt, WIO and the gang put Kurt Stedding in the beams. It's now all on the drivers. Wheels up for Kenny Lane. Kurt Stedding out and gone. 361, 206 miles per hour. Kurt Stedding, 905 down low, 242 to the split. Woo! What a run for Kurt Stedding off the ramps. 905, 242, 361, 6, 206 miles per hour. King Tut coming off a win as a driver and looking like he might be trying to go for a win as a tuner. This weekend behind the keyboard of Kurt Stedding's hot rod. Kenny Lang, 382.5, clicks it off early with the front end in the air. It's Joel Winsley Jr. and Buddy P. Roll in to be your next pair. Joel Winsley Jr., Buddy Parkinson. Buddy P clicks it off early, 936 down low, 252 to the split. Looked like it was breaking up a little bit to the front half. Joel Winsley Jr., 109 short, had some trouble after that. So both drivers not really going to be extremely happy with their first run down the racetrack. But that's why it's called testing and not qualifying here this morning.
So two of the hottest cars in drag racing right now are going to be the next two to do battle. Scott Kincaid, left-hand side of the racetrack, the undefeated Pro Street Runner here in the PDRA left-hand side with five race appearances and five race wins. Right-hand side, the new Pro Boost record holder, Derek Ward, Mr. 355. Going to do battle side by side. Like we said, two of the toughest racers going around right now. Scott Kincaid, left-hand side, has been on a tear in PDRA competition with that hot rod, has been to five PDRA races and has five PDRA 660 men on the mantle in Thornhill, Tennessee. And they haven't done it in a dominating fashion. They have done it racing smart and being a wheel man behind the wheel. So Scott Kincaid, left-hand side, his father Tim out front, Right-hand side, Drag Illustrator World Series of Pro Mod winner and the new PDRA Pro Boost world record holder, Mr. Derek Ward for Resolution Racing Services. And Derek Ward Racing, that thing has been on a tear so far since the calendar turned to 2024, and I'm sure he's looking to do the same thing here this weekend. Kincaid and Ward, next two to do battle. Derek Ward out and gone, three. 61, 208 miles per hour, Scott Kincaid, 401, 192 miles per hour. Both drivers lived up to the billing. Derek Ward, 361, 5, 208. When I tell you that team has been on another level since the calendar turned to 2024, you can trust me on those words. Sometimes you can't trust me on everything I say, but on that one, Derek Ward has been on a tear in 2024 and is screaming world championship for that team right there. Tommy Franklin and Spencer Hyde. So like we said, Derek Ward, 361.5. This morning it has been raining 361s so far in Pro Boost. Jim Halsey was on a pretty good one in Pro Nitrous trim. A couple of Pro Nitrous racers have made good laps and clicked them off early. We'll see what Tommy Franklin has to do. The past world champion, the reigning world champion, wearing the number one on the window for the Jungle Rat. 2.0 Chevrolet out of Fredericksburg for Pat UC Power. Jeff Pierce doing the tuning on this hot rod this season. Back yet again. Right-hand side, Spencer Hyde, the Jack and the Green Stock Chevrolet going to follow in the footsteps of the other World Series Pro Mod winner right in front of him. Nothing gives you any more confidence as a driver as somebody blazing down a racetrack right in front of you. So we'll see what Spencer Hyde, Mark Savage, and the gang from old Canada has got dialed up in the Chevrolet right-hand side. Chevrolet's a pair as we have a Nitrous Entry left-hand side. And Spencer on the right-hand side with a screw-blown entry. Tommy Franklin, last to stage. Franklin backfire. Spencer Hyde, 359. First 350 elapsed time of the weekend. Spencer Hyde, 359-2. 241 to the split. Woo! Baby, that thing was moving out the back. 359-2, 912 down low, 241 to the split. Spencer Hyde, your first 350 elapsed time of the weekend. Attaboy, Mark Savage and the gang. That thing looked good going down the racetrack. Tommy Franklin, 932 down low 
And between 60 foot and the 330, it said kaboom. Same thing it did in the semifinals at Galat. So that team has got some work to do to figure out what the problem is plaguing the Jungle Rat 2.0 Chevrolet right now. Same exact lap was 930 down low at Galat and made the same move and just did the same thing once again on his first run off the ramps here at Virginia. So Tommy Franklin and the gang will go to work and try to get that thing figured out. Spencer Hyde, they got the figuring out part done. 3.59 low elapsed time so far here this afternoon or morning. See, it's still morning. Marco Carenzi, left-hand side, another Canada-based runner. Right-hand side, Bubba Green with the legend, Scotty Cannon, behind the laptop on that one. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, final call to lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, final call to lanes one and two. Super Street, Super Street, we need you now, lanes five and six. Super Street, we need you now to lanes five and six. Super Street, we need you now to lanes five and six for T1. Bubba Green shakes the tire, so does Marco right behind him on the other lane. Both will be a little slow this morning. So we'll let them coast down. Got, I think, two more pair of Pro Mods and Pro Street cars to go. And then we'll move into Pro Stock and 632. So once again, Super Street, we need you now. Super Street, need you now to lanes five and six. Super Street, Super Street, we need you now to lanes five and six. Bring them on down. Ethan Studding, left-hand side of the racetrack, 16 years old, driving the P2 contracting Pro Street entry. This kid was extremely impressive at Galat. Doesn't really matter what was on the scoreboard, in my opinion, but that kid was impressive behind the wheel. Uh, made some really, really smart moves and drove like a veteran. So this kid will be one to watch in this category as we get going into the weekend. So first run of the weekend for Ethan Stedding, left-hand side of the racetrack, right-hand side, first run ever in PDRA competition for Mr. Marcus Burt. Welcome to the PDRA, sir. Marcus Burt, Tommy Omens in the gang, Lee White behind the laptop, making their PDRA debut this weekend. It's good to see Marcus Burt and the gang out. A good looking piece. Owned by Mr. Tommy Yeomans, one of the absolute nicest guys in drag racing. Like, hands down, one of the nicest fellows you'll ever meet in your life. Sometimes he plays off as Santa Claus during the month of December with his great beard that he has. You know, some people that can't grow one of those that big kind of get a little jealous of it. Some do. 
I don't, but some do. I've heard people talk. People also talk about me, as I just got told to, that I would get paid to sit the microphone down if I would sit it down. Prime example of why you just witnessed. Ethan Stedding, Marcus Burt. Marcus Bird out and gone, clicks it at the 330. Ethan Stedding, 403, 194 miles per hour for Ethan. Marcus Burt, 391 at a buck 48, clicks it early. 918 down low for Marcus Burt, 244 to the split. Probably going to be somewhere around a 364, possibly even a 363 right there for that pro-charged hot rod of Tommy Yeomans. Lee White and the gang got a handle on that thing from the jump street when they debuted that car. So Ethan Stedding, impressive once again as the young gun continues in his rookie season. So our final pair of Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street cars. A couple of Pro Boosters, Mike Graham and Mr. Steve King, the Savage Chevrolet Corvette. Right-hand side of the racetrack. And then we'll move into Extreme Pro Stock and Pro 632. Super Street, we need you now to lanes 5 and 6. Super Street, need you now to lanes 5 and 6, please. Once again, Super Street, we need you now to lanes 5 and 6. Bring them on down, Super Street, lanes 5 and 6. Steve King wheels in the air, head to abort mission to get the front end back down to where they could drive it. Mike Graham, 384, 200 miles per hour for that hot rod. Believe that car's in big dog trim, if I remember correctly, but I may be incorrect there. So, Steve King was 944 down low, a little slow compared to some other cars in the same category. But still made a good lap. Hank Hughes, Jason Ventura, our first pair out for Pro Stock and 632 testing. Will be a couple of 632 runners. So Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, and Super Street will be the next class of cars you will see out on the racetrack, starting with a couple of 632 cars of Hank Hughes and Jason Ventura. So like we said, class change, and we're going to move into Pro Stock 632 testing. First two, Pro 632 cars, Hank Hughes left-hand side, right-hand lane, Jason Ventura. Mike 
Ventura out and gone, clicks that early, 448. Hank Hughes does the same. 985 down low for Ventura. Good lap for them. Daryl Stewart, left-hand side of the racetrack for chassis engineering in the gang. Right-hand side, the Polk County Pro Stock. Mr. Jordan Enslin behind the wheel. So Daryl Stewart and Jordan Enslin, next two to do battle. Daryl Stewart making a good run down the left-hand side of the racetrack, 409, 176 miles per hour for Clayton Murphy and the gang. Jordan Enslin, 411, a buck 76, good lap for them as well. But Daryl Stewart, pretty nice lap for them right there. Got that ET difference. Getting it done in the early part of the racetrack. Bobby Bladen, left-hand side. And Walt Lanigan, right-hand side. Next two to do battle. Bladen impressed a lot of people with the Chevy 2 in the left-hand side, making his 632 sort of debut at Galak. Bladen ran the World Finals with us last year with a brand-new car to him. Used to be campaigned by... Mead Baldwin and Brian Claus, but Bobby Bladen has completely overhauled this thing over the off season. I uh, got some good horsepower between the frame rails and got a really, really slick paint job on this thing. And man, it is one of the prettiest race cars in PDRA competition. And when it lights the lamp and goes down the racetrack, it is definitely one to watch as well. Uh, performance is coming through for that team. Uh, new team campaigning for the season and trying to chase a world championship. It's Bobby Bladen out of Maryland. So Keep your eyes on that good-looking Chevy, too. Probably gains your attention anyway just because it's a good-looking hot rod, but it'll also run the number as well. It's so right-hand side for Jamie Miller in the gang. It's Chris Holdorf's hot rod. Walt Lanigan behind the wheel. Frank Mushaw, Jamie Miller, Johnny Miller in the gang all working together on that one. They were in some strong numbers down at Galat and had, have ever since Jamie came on board this program. I've always kind of made a running joke that if you don't have you a Jamie Miller, you need to get you one because that dude is a bad man behind a, behind a laptop, and it seems like he's good in any combination you throw his way. Uh, so Jamie's got his hands on this thing this season, and I've been making some good runs with a Nelson competition horsepower with Walt Lanigan or Chris Holdorf behind the wheel. Never really know who's driving this thing, but it looks like it's going to be Walt Lanigan this weekend again uh, after a good showing at Goliath. So Bobby Bladen, Walt Lanigan Jr., next two to do battle.
Super Street final call. Super Street final call to five and six. Super Street final call to five and six. Attention to the pits. Top Sportsman. Top Sportsman. We need you now to lanes one and two. Top Sportsman. Top Sportsman only. We need you now to lanes one and two. Top Sportsman. We need you now to lanes one and two. If you are making T1s. Top Sportsman to the lanes. Lanes one and two. Once again, top sportsman, top sportsman. We need you now to lanes one and two. Top sportsman to lanes one and two. Top sportsman only. Top sportsman only. We need you now to lanes one and two. If you get one and two filled up, overflow to three and four. So once again, top sportsman. Top sportsman. If you are if you are full in one and two, overflow them to three and four. So top sportsman will take you to lanes one and two for test number one. Top sportsman, top sportsman only. We need you now to lanes one and two. Jamie Thompson, Lexi Tanner, a couple of 632 cars going to do battle. Both out and gone. Lexi Tanner, 429, 173. Jamie Thompson still fighting some trouble. 462 at a buck 55 for Jamie. Lexi making a pretty decent lap right there, 429. 173 miles per hour. Good speed for that car. Jeff Melnick, your past world champion. Left-hand side of the racetrack. Right-hand side, your past event champion, Mr. Andy House. So like we said, Andy House, your past event winner. Down at Galat Motorsports Park just like 10 days ago. That red Chevrolet Camaro right-hand side. Familiar looking hot rod because it is. Past world champion car for Mr. Jason Harrison Pro Nitrous. Now campaigned by Andy House and owned by Mead Baldwin here in 632. Top sportsman, top sportsman, we need you now to lanes one and two. Top sportsman to one and two if you are testing today. Jeff Melnick and Andy House both out and gone. Melnick clicks it at the 330. Andy House, 418, 168 miles per hour, continuing to look impressive. Jason Harris knows how to nitrous race every now and then. He doesn't like it, but he still knows how to do it. Jason Harris tuning that thing up, 418 for Andy House. Team is looking strong yet again here this weekend. Our last 632 car. The young lady wearing our number three on the window this season, Miss Amber Franklin. Once again, top sportsman cars, top sportsman.
Top Sportsman, we need you now to one and two. Top Sportsman, we need you now to one and two. Amber Franklin, your last 632 car of the session. Amber out and gone. 419, 169 miles per hour for Amber. So Andy House, low elapsed time of Pro 632 testing right off the ramps here in T1. But Amber Franklin nipping at its heels. 419 for Amber, 418 for Mr. Andy House. The 632 entry of Team TFM looking pretty good. Coming right off the ramps for Miss Amber Franklin. So we're down for a little bit of track prep. Super Street will be our next category out. And Top Sportsman, we need you in the lanes. Top Sportsman, we need you to lanes one and two. Once again, Top Sportsman. drive tech we drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward a versatile all-in-one solution we're here for you every step of the way and that's why you see fuel tech everywhere Regulators, filters, fueling champions. So he knows, he knows his schedule. He doesn't know the dates, though. Especially now that you went through all this. Let you know you have the pass. So top sportsmen, once again, we need you now to one and two. If one and two is filled up, 
Put them in lanes three and four. Top Sportsman, we need you now to lanes one and two. Overflow them to three and four. First call, Top Dragster. Top Dragster and Bracket Bash, if you paid to test. Top Dragster and Bracket Bash, if you paid to test, we'll take you now to lanes five and six. Top Dragster and Bracket Bash, we need you now to lanes five and six. Top Dragster and Bracket Bash to the lanes for T1, lanes five and six. So top sportsman once again needs you to one and two. If one and two is full, overflow to three and four. Top dragster will take you to five and six. Top dragster and bracket bash will take you to five and six. First pair of super street. Tony Ortz having some trouble. Derek Moda out and gone 468, 162 for Mr. Derek Moda. First pass of the weekend for Derek. Looking good right there. 468, 162 miles per hour for Derek Moda. Tony Ortz having some trouble. Last event's runner-up coming in the left-hand side, the snowman, Mr. Matt Shallow.
Matt Shallow, left-hand side, right-hand lane. Not sure whose car this is. I think it came with Marco Carenzi, but it is a gorgeous 69 Chevrolet Camaro sitting on 28. Both drivers having issues. We'll coast down. Test day is always fun. You're either trying new stuff or change some things from race to race, and sometimes you have to go through the hardships before you go through the good times. So both of those drivers will coast down. We'll bring our next two up, Brad Cox and Gaze Lamas. Gage Lamas and Brad Cox out and gone. Lamas 478, 159 with a turbocharged Trans Am. Brad Cox having some trouble. 521 slows at only 120 miles per hour. Right hand lane. Fran Chats, welcome back. Good to see Fran back out. And Turbo Tommy, left hand side of the racetrack for Racecraft Engineering and Hearts Turbo. Tommy Thrasher, 497, 151. Fran Chats clicks it early. First run of the season for him. Good first run for them, 123 short. New bullet between the frame rails. I think he just made the swap to Fuel Tech. And a new member of the Red Hat Mafia, Fran Chats. Moving on down for his first run of 2024. Carson Perry, last pro car to make it up here. Made a little late this morning. Carson was cuddling with the pillow. So Carson was a little sleepy this morning. Just just a tad tardy. So we're going to get Carson down the racetrack real quick before we move into Top Sportsman. So Top Sportsman's here. Top Dragsta. 
We're waiting on you, top dragster. F3 down here in five and six. I'm sure there'll be some more that want to get down with some testing. So once again, top dragster, we need you now. Lanes five and six, top dragster. Need you to five and six, please. Bracket bash, if you have paid to test, you can bring it on to five and six as well. You will run with top dragster. So bracket bash, if you've paid to test, you will also be making your way to lanes five and six. Carson Perry, take number two on the burnout. Racetrack a little bit tight this morning. Carson in the game. Two short burnouts. Get the tires scuffed in. They'll back that hot rod up. Carson will make a run down the racetrack. So Carson, your past event run in his rookie season. Surprise rookie season. Didn't really know Carson was going to be behind the wheel of this thing this season. And uh, what a debut he had at Galat Motorsports Park. Taking it all the way to the final round. Clicked it. I think 15 red in the final. Sitting beside Andy House, knew he had to have his act together as two strong hot rods faced off in the final down at Galat. So Carson coming in, your number two man in the point standings. So Carson Perry will make his first run of the weekend. And we'll move into top sportsman after that. So top sportsman, your absolute last and final call to the lanes. Top sportsman, absolute last and final call to the lanes. Top dragster. We need you to the lanes if you are playing to test today. Top Dragster needs you down to the lanes, lanes five and six. Top Dragster needs you down to lanes five and six. Carson Perry, 986 down low, clicks at early, 444 at only 129 miles per hour. So Carson Perry, looking good. Carson, Andy, Amber, all looked really strong at Galat, and all three come off the ramps and make really nice laps, showing that those three and a handful of others are going to be very, very competitive here this weekend. Just got note that Chevy Floyd is driving Carson Perry's car this weekend, so Chevy Floyd making a 632 debut. So nice, a lot of kind words about Carson. I hope he's watching on Flow put that on a note for the announcers so our tech department just gave word that chevy floyd is behind the wheel of carson perry's hot rod this weekend chevy a very well-versed wheel man in his own right so chevy floyd making a 632 debut this weekend so we're on to top sportsman So on to top sportsman. Barry Daniluk, first one out, left-hand side. Francis Jarrell, right-hand lane of the Malibu. So bracket bash and top dragster, we need you now to five and six. Bracket bash and top dragster, we need you now to five and six. Once again, bracket bash and top dragster, we need you now to lanes five and six. Barry Daniluk out and gone, 402, first run here in top sportsman testing. Francis Durrell, 585, on a buck 19 in the bracket bash entry. Tim Molnar, Brian Tiff, next two to do battle here in top sportsman. A couple of elite runners. Molnar, your number one qualifier from Galat, 372. Brian Tiff went from crew chief to driver this season. Tiff in the Chevrolet Corvette owned by Doc Schween, previously wheeled by Mr. Chris Nyergis. Chris decided to hang up the helmet for a little bit. It's Brian Tiff behind the wheel for the Doc. Tim Molnar, left-hand side for Jim Attachments, all the way from Seville, Ohio. Billy Albert, 959 cubic inch. Engine between the frame rails for Molnar. 
like we said, your number one qualifier from Galat. Went 372 down there. Wouldn't be surprised to see a 378, 377 out of Molnar right off the ramps for the Ohio based Chevrolet. Side-by-side side race out of those. Brian Tiff, 381, a buck 95, the quicker of the two. Tim Molnar, 383, at 197 miles per hour. A little bit more speed for Molnar, but we race on a lap's time here in drag racing, 381. Quicker of the pair. Right-hand side, I do believe that is Mr. Cheyenne Stanley. Charge hot rod out of Cynthia, Kentucky. Left lane, Tim Papp with the world champ Donnie Urban on the headset. Barker Max and Mr. Hollywood. Crew chief and Mr. Tim Papp this season. Urban, another one that put his helmet on the, on the mantle for a little bit. Hung up the helmet, picked up the headset for Mr. Donnie Urban. Tim Papp, Chevrolet Camaro, left-hand side of the racetrack. Seen that entry owned and campaigned by Marcus Bird over the years, radio racing. Also in some pro mod stuff. Now, owned by Tim Papp. Nitrous oxide mill sitting between the frame rails. Donnie Urban on the headset. Crew chief and along with Jeffrey Barker. World renowned top sportsman racer. Watching at home on Flow Racing. Hi, Jeffrey. Right hand lane, Cheyenne Stanley. Twin turbocharged hot rod. Coming in out of Kentucky for Parker Incorporated. Stanley having some trouble again here so far this weekend. Tim Papp, 382, 199 miles per hour. Good speed for Papp on the left-hand side. Cheyenne Stanley fault issues at Galat and is continuing on the struggle bus so far this weekend. So first run off the ramps for Cheyenne, still fighting some tire shake issues. As Tim Papp, 382 at 199 for Donnie Urban. Jeffrey Barker on the laptop, got to be happy with that for the first run off the ramp. Zach Hauser, left-hand side, and it looks like Mr. Joe Robichek, right-hand side, past world champ in top sportsman. Zach Hauser, Joe Robichek. Robichek, second to stage. Hauser with arguably the loudest top sportsman car on property. Both drivers click them off at the 330. Robichek, 429 at only 145 miles per hour. Good lap for him. Hauser looked like he was fighting some fuel issues. Might have looked like he had a stuck injector or something along those lines. Bruce Thrift, 
Left hand side of the racetrack. Looks like Dan Christopher for TT Motorsports, right hand side. Top dragster, final call to the lanes. Top dragster and bracket bash, final call to lanes five and six. If you have paid to test today, top dragster, final call. Final call to lanes five and six. Top dragster and bracket bash, final call for test run number one. To lanes five and six, we need you now. Top dragster, lanes five and six, need you now. Final call. Thrift 391, 190 miles per hour for Barusi, all the way from way across Georgia. Dan Christopher, 431. So Karsten Nyer just left hand side. Do believe there's Travis Butler. Right hand side. Don't have any names in the testing categories for our test session, so we are flying by memory on this. So if we have your name wrong or we say something wrong about your car, or where you live. I'm sorry. I'm going off my memory. I'm not very good at this at times. Next two top sportsman cars ready to do battle. Karsten Nyert makes a little baby move to the center line, wheels it back, 448. Travis Butler, 426, 165. Brian LaFlamme and Jeff Brooks. LaFlamme, all the way from Gilbert, Arizona, left-hand side of the racetrack. Supercharged Ford Mustang. Pretty slick piece on the left-hand side of the racetrack. Right-hand lane for Kaiser Compressors. This is Jeff Brooks from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Brand new 51 model Henry J. Debuting it here this year in Top Sportsman. For Kaiser Compressors, also our title sponsor of the Mid-Atlantic Showdown here this weekend. So Brooks, you should see a low four-second elapsed time out of him on the right-hand side of the racetrack. Brian LaFlamme will be looking to try to go somewhere in the 370 range. We'll summit left-hand side of the racetrack. trouble. Brian LaFlamme, 376 at 203, but looks like it might have popped the burst panel down there on the top end of the racetrack. LaFlamme might have a little bit of work to do. Looks like it might have pushed, the, pushed something out of it down there right at the finish line. So, 
Heck of a lap out of the flam though. 376 at a big 203 miles per hour. That's out of the, I do believe, roots blown Ford Mustang. WIO horsepower for La Flam. Next two top sportsman cars to do battle. Top junior dragster. Top junior dragster. We need you now. Top junior. We'll take you to lanes one and two. Top junior. We need you now to lanes one and two, please, for T2. Top junior. We need you now to lanes one and two.
attention to the pits. Top junior dragster, top junior. Top junior, if you're not in the lanes, we need you to one and two. Top junior, if you're not in the lanes, we need you to one and two. Pro junior, we need you now to three and four. Pro junior, we need you now lanes three and four. Once again, pro junior, pro junior, we need you now lanes three and four. Jamie Fowler, pimping and limping. Left hand side. Pimpin' not gonna be happy with that. 412 at 140 and scoop exited left. Backfire out of Jamie Fowler's car. Not the way they wanted to start the weekend. Here with the PD Fleet Chevrolet left hand side of the racetrack, right hand lane, 466, 161. So team PDRA will go out, retrieve all the parts, and they will get things figured out over in the Fowler camp. So as you can see, we've now got our first top dragster making an appearance. Looks like that is Mr. Kenny Young, hometown runner right here out of Petersburg, sitting alongside Jeremy Creaseman and Skittles. So top sportsman is rounding out their lanes, making sure they got their lane of choice. We snuck in a couple of top dragsters. So looks like we got two more top sportsman cars, both in the right lane, Jeremy Creaseman and Mr. Dan Ferguson. Kenny Young, first pass out, new combination for him. And the 21 model race tech. Sitting alongside Skittles.
Brian Anderson and Dan Ferguson. Ferguson, our last top sportsman car. Brian Anderson, our first top or our second top dragster. Anderson 378, 190 miles per hour for the Pro Charge Race Tech. Right hand side, Dan Ferguson 397, clicks it early at only 162 miles per hour. So Dan Ferguson, good rip off the ramps for that team. Dean Young Motorsports. Brian Anderson, good lap out of the Carson, Virginia base, top dragster. So now we are all long cars till we see the little ones. So top junior, final call to one and two, top junior, final call to one and two, pro junior. Pro Junior, second call to lanes three and four.
Cameron Manuel, Kellen Farmer. Manual left hand side, team race tech. Kellen Farmer, right hand lane. Kellen 005 up front. Has some trouble. Cameron Manuel, 430. 161. Top junior final call to one and two. Pro junior final call to three and four. Once again, top junior one and two. Pro junior three and four. Final call for both. You are almost. Ready to go out on the racetracks. Top junior final call to one and two. Pro junior final call to three and four.
All right, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We'll take you now to lanes five and six. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We'll take you now to lanes five and six, please. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street. We'll take you now to lanes five and six. Bring them on down. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We need you now, lanes five and six. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We'll take you now to lanes five and six. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Need you now to lanes five and six. Putting the finishing touches on Juniors. And then we will go into a quick track prep. And then it is your time to shine for T number two here on Thursday. It's test run number two here on Thursday. Time for you to bring them down to the lanes. Juniors finishing up their second run. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street. You are next. Need you to the lanes now, lanes five and six. Lanes five and six, bring them on down.
So once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We see you starting to roll in the lanes. If you're planning on making this second test session, bring them on down, lanes five and six. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Bring them on down. Lanes five and six, we need you now. Juniors are finishing up, and then we will move on to our Pro categories for their second run of the day. So once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street. We need you now, lanes five and six. Daryl Jackson in the house. One day when I grow up, I'm gonna have a cool walk like DJ. So once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street, we need you now. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street, we need you now. Lanes five and six. Lanes five and six, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Pro Street. Bring them on down, boys and ladies. Let's get it. Test number two underway. Quick track prep, and we will move straight into the class. So get on the ground. Bottles loaded in. Everything dialed in and ready to go. So pros, you are out next. Last junior dragster going to take to the racetrack, Miss Brooke Riddle. We drive tech. We drive the industry. Going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all in one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere.
welded. Pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions.
So once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street, if you are not in the lanes, we need you here now. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. If you're not in the lanes, we need you here now. Once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Mr. Pettis, you enjoying the shade? So once again, Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, Pro Street. We need you now if you're not already here. Lanes five and six. Here we go with pros, test number two. First two out rotors on Basado. Left hand side of the racetrack, Pro Boost entry. Right hand side of the racetrack, Mr. Billy Albert. Little Pro Boost, Pro Nitrous matchup to lead us off with test run number two. First session was quite quick. This one, probably not gonna see the same. Sun's been out on the racetrack, got some heat in the racetrack now. Got some cars down the racetrack, got some rubber build up on the starting line now. So might see a little bit of tire shake through this session. Might see some really good runs in the heat of the day. So we'll find out as the first two going to do battle. Billy Albert made a nice rip on his first run. Basado fought a little bit of tire shake in his 2024 debut here with the PDRA. Rodojan coming all the way from Brazil. Yes, the country. Down in South America. Billy Albert for Ossenbach Chevrolet. Albert Racing Engines out of Whitfield. 
home state race for the man on the right hand side of the racetrack as we are live on flow racing see a good starting line shot both cars sitting on the starting line ready for their second run of the day it's Basado first to light the lamp Basado, big time wheel stand, has to abort. Billy Albert, 372, 201 miles per hour for Billy. Good lap right there with the sun out on the racetracks. Billy Albert, 372, 201. Rotor Jean Basado did not want to give up the ghost on that one. Front end was in the air, driving to the right. Had to abort mission before he crossed the center line. Basado sits the nose down. We'll go back and go back to work. But Billy Albert. Two for two to start the weekend off for the Withville, Virginia based hot rod as we go instant replay on Flow Racing. Basado wheels up at 150 foot and aborts mission, but a clean run right there for Billy Albert and the awesome box Chevrolet 69 Camaro. Camaro Joe, Fletcher Cox owned hot rod, left hand side of the racetrack, sits alongside Tricky Ricky Smith and a Barkway Ford. 2018 on a Mustang, powered by Pat Musi. Joe Albright, left-hand side of the racetrack. Fletcher Cox, the big man, bringing his 69 Chevrolet Camaro up to the pre-stage beam. DeSoma Racing Engines Power, tuned by PTP, Mr. Patrick Barnhill. On the left-hand side of the racetrack, right-hand side, Tricky Ricky Smith, tuned by Tricky Ricky Smith for Parkway Ford and Pat Musi Racing Engines. The grizzled veteran of 49-plus years. Back in PDRA competition here in race number two on the 2024 season. Fletcher Cox walks away. It's all on the drivers. Nova Joe, left-hand side, or Tricky Ricky. Right-hand side, second pair, protesting. Nova Joe, tire shake, Ricky Smith out and gone. 369, 202 miles per hour for Ricky. 934, 247 up front. Good lap for the Nitro Century right there. Tricky Ricky, 369, 202. With the sun blazing on the starting line. Nova Joe 939 down low and has to abort mission. Due to tire shake. Chris Hardy and Derek Ford. Ford with the smallest nitrous entry in pro nitrous, 903 cubic inches. Taking advantage of the weight break that you get for a 903. So Derek Ford and Camp going a little different route for the pro nitrous hot rod this season. 
Chris Hardy, left-hand side of the racetrack. Brand new car out of Pandy's Performance. See that camp on board right here. Twin turbocharged Chevrolet Camaro, 2,000-year model. Believe it's a big block in between the frame rails, if I remember correctly. So once again, Derek Ford, right-hand side of the racetrack. Pro Nitrous runner, Chris Hardy, left-hand side of the racetrack. Pro Street runner. Derek Ford not going to make this lap having trouble. Chris Hardy will be sent on a single. Hardy makes a move and aborts mission. So he will coast down and regroup on that hot rod. It's Derek Ford having some trouble keeping the car running here this morning. Derek Ford going to make a single right here. Looks like they got that car fired up. So all eyes on the Pro Nitrous side. Ford out and gone. Clicks it at the 330. Coast down 403 at about 44. Decent opening. Stands a lap for that team. So we will move on now to a couple of pro street cars, Wild Bill Devine and Chris Cadotto in the Dodge Ram pick em up truck. Couple 10 5 runners gonna do battle next out. Second test session for our pro cars. Sun's out, changes the racetrack just a little bit. Neither team making the adjustments from their first run, adjusting for the sun to be out on the racetrack. So both will coast down. 5 10 for Cadado, 7 09 for time for Bill Devine. It's so like we spoke on this morning, it was 
right and tight out there, and the sun hadn't gotten a whole lot of heat into the racetrack, so now the sun's out. Been blazing on the racetrack all day. Track temperature's up. You have to make changes on these things to be able to make the same lap or better your performance from this morning. Kind of can't come up with the same program that you had earlier in the earlier in the morning as conditions change throughout the day. So now we move on to Marco Carinzi and Mr. Jimmy Halsey. Jim Halsey, four-time world champion pro nitrous, coming off a semifinal appearance at the East Coast Nationals at Galat just 10 short days ago. Comes in your new pro nitrous elapsed time world record holder. Clicked off a 360 with an eight to better his 361, previously held national record as well. Halsey sporting some new pipe this season from Jerry Bickle Race Cars. Still relying on Fulton Competition Racing Engines in between the frame rails. Brandon Schweitzer, Team Motec on board. Did not like exactly where they lined that car up the first time, so Halsey will back up, try again. Brandon and Eric making a last second move on that thing. So walk up set to Willie Bars and Jim Halsey will be ready to make his second test run of the day. Marco Carenzi had some trouble in his first lap. Pro Street car out of Old Canada on the left-hand side of the racetrack for big stuff and M&M con converters and transmissions. Marco and the gang will look to make a good lap right here beside the four-time world champ. See what Halsey and team can crack off right here. We've seen some good runs out of Pro Nitrous cars already this session. Can Jim Halsey continue the trend? That is a yes. Jim Halsey, 370, 206 miles per hour. In the heat of the day, Jim Halsey goes 370. Marco Carenzi still having trouble. As you see on Flow Racing, Jim Halsey shoots by with the shoots out on the Jerry Bickle race car. Top end view here this weekend on our Flow Racing feed. Brought to you by none other than Redline Synthetic Hole. Also the series title sponsor for the PDRA. couple of guys not making the first session. So we'll see him for the first time here in test number two. Richard Reagan, left-hand side of the racetrack, the Fox Body Mustang from Tennessee. Screw blown Hemi in between the frame rails, sitting on 33.10.5s in Pro Street, right-hand side of the racetrack. Your past winner, just 10 short days ago at the East Coast Nationals, his first PDRA win, Mr. Brian Schrader. Out of the Robert Hayes Motorsports Camp. Park that Chevrolet Corvette in the winter circle at Galat Motorsports Park. Your current points leader in Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. It's Brian Schrader for the first time in his career taking his first career PDRA victory down at Galat Motorsports Park in Benson, North Carolina. Just a couple hours away from Robert's shop over in Mooresville. Richard Reagan coming off a good outing over at Galat as well. Reagan had to run his teammate Scott Kincaid in first round. For those of you who know Scott Kincaid's record at PDRA, you know that did not fare well for Mr. Richard Reagan. Reagan and Kincaid are teammates, and I can promise you it would not surprise me for any short amount of time to see Bubba and the team putting that car in the winter circle here soon, you know, if Scott decides to take a race off or something. Scott King, or Richard Reagan strikes the tire, as well does Brian Schrader. Schrader shakes the tire out in the middle of the racetrack. Both will coast down for time. We'll move on to our next pair, which looks to be Dane Wood and Jason Lee.
So Dane Wood did not like something as he fired that Purvis Ford Mustang up to come into the water box and decided, oh boy, we're going to make a left-hand turn. We don't like something. So Dane Wood and the gang going to go back to the trailer and check things out. The Chesapeake, Virginia runner did not like something that he saw uh, before he rolled into the water box. So all eyes will be on Jason Lee, Coast Packing Company, 2020 model Chevrolet Camaro, screw-blown hot rod, the ex-Todd Tuttero car that piloted Todd to his world championship back in 2022. Jason Lee for Eric Gustafson, Coast Packing Company, PTP Racing. Rolls in a tire shake. Next two to do battle, Scott Kincaid, left-hand side of the racetrack, the Pro Street Runner, your current points leader, and number two in the world from last season. Right-hand side, Marcus Butner's hot rod with Jay Cox behind the wheel. The Heartbreaker Chevrolet. Made a good lap first run. Looks like Jay might be testing some stuff, and Marcus is watching from outside the race car. Marcus must have a lot bigger heart than I do. I don't know if I could let Jay drive my race car. Might could let other people, but I don't know if I could let Jay. Two very good drivers sitting on the starting line right now. Scott Kincaid, left-hand side of the racetrack. Jay Cox and Marcus Butner's hot rod right-hand lane. Both drivers going to tire shake. Abort mission. Jay was 944 down low. Trying to make the trip. Kincaid 109. Not getting through it. It's like we said earlier, track temp is up. First time these teams have seen some decently warm conditions all season long. Things change. Got to get the front ends up. As our track team has just alerted to me, they are 20 degrees hotter on the racetrack right now as they were this morning for their first run off the ramps. So that changes things just a little bit.
Sears, two cars to make some adjustments. William Brown, 367. Jason Harris, 364. 205 miles per hour. Jason Harris, 913 down low. Proving the point why he's wearing number one on the window. The world champ, 364-4, 205. Lower laps time so far in T number two with the Sun Island Racetrack. William Brown, good, respectable 367 lap. 926 down low for him as well, but Jason Harris flexing the muscle. 364-4 for the world champ. Couple of Pro Nitrous runners, Buddy P and Chris Rini. Both out and gone. Buddy Parkinson, 376, 197 miles per hour. Chris Rini, 423, 127, clicks it off right past the 330. So Buddy P, 376, at only 197 miles per hour. So he might have clicked it off early as well. Next two. The boss man, Tommy Franklin, left-hand side of the racetrack, sitting alongside Chucky Olsh. Ulsh made one heck of a lap in T1 this morning. Let's see if that team can go two for two. Ulsh, 364 for that team earlier. Right-hand side of the racetrack, Chucky Ulsh. 364 off the ramps this morning. So we'll see what he can put down here in T2 with the sun out. Tommy Franklin, the boss man, left-hand side of the racetrack, the reigning world champion. And Pro Nitrous, Miss Judy walks away. See if they've got the issues fixed in the jungle rat. He was not happy on the first run. Both drivers into the pre-stage bolt. Franklin's in, oh, second to stage. Tommy Franklin out and gone, clicks it at the 330, 394, 149 with the shoots out. Chucky Olsh clicks it as well, 429 and 126, both drivers. Mid-track shutoffs, Tommy Franklin finally didn't go kablooey at about 150 foot out. Team TFM will be happy about that, and they will move on. to T3 later on in the afternoon.
Cam Clark and Tommy Morrow. Next two to do battle. Clark made a good lap. T1. See how he can do with the sun on the racetrack. 20 degrees hotter right here in T2. Got some past world champions tuning in here on Flow Racing. Feeling the love here on Thursday afternoon. Morrow second to stage with the turbo car. Cam Clark, two for two, 378 at about 93. Shout out to my buddy Kevin Rivenbark. Sitting at home, watching some racing back in Wallace, North Carolina. Probably not working, apparently. Kevin picked up a win over at Phoenix a couple weeks ago. So congratulations to Kevin, Stan, Shelton, all that bunch. We still love you, Kevin. You are multi-time world champion here. Guess that means we have to love you. Next two to do battle. Jerry Morgano, left-hand side, the small block, Ford Mustang. Right-hand side, Miss Melanie Salemi. The alley installations, Chevrolet Camaro. Out of Buffalo, New York, Miss Melanie had trouble on the first run. But we'll see what John's got figured out right here on test run number two here on Thursday afternoon. Jerry Morgano got a close-up shot of the Copperhead Fox body must or Ford Mustang, not a Fox body. I'll get it right here in a second. Here on the Flow Racing feed. Morgano, long-time runner on 10.5s. Son Tyler behind the car. Excellent name choice, by the way. All eyes on Melanie Salemi. Right-hand side of the Resolution Racing Services. G-Force race cars built. Chevrolet Camaro. Purple Rain side piece. Which I guess it would just now be Purple Rain. Or side piece. Being that Purple Rain is not in the same team anymore as the side piece. Does that counteract? How does that work? I'll phone a friend. I'll be back with you shortly. Oh, man. Y'all have got to be ready for the new the real announcers to get here. Morgano builds the boost second to stage in the Mustang. Melanie Salemi out and gone. 366, 205 miles per hour. That's the Salemi bunch that we all know and love. 928 down low, 246 to the split. Miss Melanie lights the lamp on the atomizer side of the racetrack. 366, 205 miles per hour.
Spencer Hyde, Steve King, both not making enough adjustments for the sun on the racetrack and different atmospheric conditions. So both will head down the racetrack in a slow coasting fashion. And we'll move on to our next two that looks to be Mr. Preston Tanner, Johnny Camp. Tension of the pits, tension of the pits. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, we need you now to lanes one and two. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, we need you now. Lanes one and two. Once again, Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632, we need you now. Lanes one and two. Preston Tanner shakes the tires. Johnny Camp, 364, 204 miles per hour. Welcome back to PDRA, Brandon Stroud. 907 down low for Johnny Camp, 243 to the split, 364, 205. Hell's bells are ringing here on Thursday afternoon. Woo, boy. Good lap, Brandon, Chris, and the gang. Johnny Camp, 364.5, back in PDRA trim. Ethan Stedding and Scott Lang. All eyes on Ethan Stedding. What can the P2 Contracting Pro Street Ride do right here in the heat? 
Ethan doesn't like it. Aborts mission. Scott Lang, 366. 929 down low. 247 to the split. 366 5 for Scott Lang. Lee White in the gang for AML Motorsports and Keenan Allen. 366 right down the atomizer right hand side of the racetrack. So once again, Pro Stock. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. We need you to one and two. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. We need you to one and two, please. Kenny Lang, 362, 206 miles per hour. Al Billis, hello. 362, 206 for Kenny Lang in the heat of the day. 925 down low and Dan Norris, 105 foot, 404 to buck 87 for the roots blown. Ford Mustang here in Pro Street, but Kenny Lang, wow, 62. Marcus Burt, left-hand side of the racetrack, made a good opening stanza run this morning for Tommy Yeomans and the gang. Lee White behind the laptop on this one as well. For Tommy Yeomans and Marcus Burt, the axe man behind the wheel, right-hand side of the racetrack. Joel Winsley Jr. for Liberty's Gears, PTP Racing, Pro Charger Power. On the Hemi, sitting in between the frame rails of the 2014 Chevrolet Camaro, right-hand side of the racetrack. A little Pro Boost versus Pro Street action. Here's we round out the back end of testing for our category. So Pro Stock, 632. We need you now. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. We need you to lanes one and two now. Once again, Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. We need you to lanes one and two. And need you here right now, please. Marcus Burt, 932 down low, drove th drives through tire shake. Joel Winsley Jr., 108 short, knocks the tire off through the middle, tries to kicks her a little bit sideways, hangs on to it, coast down 461.
Mike Graham, left-hand side. Bubba Green on the right-hand side, tuned by the legend, Scotty Cannon. Graham leaves before the tree activates. Bubba Green, 370, 203 miles per hour. final car in Pro Nitrous Pro Boost Pro Street will be the world champ, Mr. Bill Riddle. So the world champ, Bill Riddle. Your last car here in Nitrous Boost and Street. So now we move it to Pro Stock and 632. As soon as the world champ makes his shot down the atomizer side of the racetrack. Super Street, we'll take you to five and six. Street, we need you now to lanes five and six, please. Super Street, we need you now to lanes five and six. Bring them on down. Riddle, 105 short, takes the tire off about 80 foot out. So now it looks like we're moving on into pro stock. Dave Hughes, Jordan Enslin, first two to bring them out of the tunnel. So extreme pro stock, pro 632, your next class of cars coming out to you. Super Street, we need you now, lanes five and six. Super Street, need you now to lanes five and six, please. Once again, Super Street, we'll take you to lanes five and six. Final call, Pro Stock in 632. Final call, Pro Stock in 632. If you're not here, we need you. Extreme Pro Stock, Pro 632. If you're not here, we need you. So Dave Hughes and Jordan Enslin, your first two out here in Pro Stock 632 testing. We've got a, a couple of cars back in the lanes getting all suited up to come around the corner. Be the next couple to go down the racetrack. You know, you realize you can't take certain people anywhere. Some people, you can't even let them come to work. Dave Hughes, Jordan Enslin, first pair out. Super Street, bring them up to five and six, please. Super Street, we'll take you to five and six. Once again, Super Street, we'll take you to five and six. Dave Hughes, 411, left-hand side of the racetrack. Jordan Enslin, 414. A couple of good consistent laps out of the Florida runner for the Polk County Pro Stock Hot Rod on the right-hand side. Enslin, 411, 414. Nice consistent laps for them. Looks like Hank Hughes will be a single next out. Got a couple cars back there getting, still getting their gear on. 
So we're going to bring out our right lane. Fingal for our man Randy Lee. So we go Hank Hughes in 632. Everybody at home on Flow Racing got a good look of the Hank Hughes hot rod. Jalen Mincer Motorsports on board. Helping out Hank this season. Looks like we got a couple pairs lined up in the tunnel. Fighting for the shade in there, apparently. Super Street, we need you now. Super Street, we need you now. Lanes five and six. Super Street, bring them on to five and six. Hank Hughes out and gone. 451. 156 miles per hour. Parachute doing a little wave to us, apparently. It's a 451 for Hank Hughes right there. Doug Nickel, left-hand side of the racetrack. Someone picked Doug last night on PDRA Live. I can't remember who it was. Was it Placino? I think it was. Well, I don't know. Gavin missed it, so Gavin wasn't there to make any picks. Apparently, Gavin was working. We're all so proud of him. So, Doug Nickel, left-hand side from Michigan, driving the ex-Shameless Racing Hot Rod. Troy Russell, crew chief on that piece. Right-hand side, Matt Giagrande. The Enoch Love Motorsports Chevrolet Camaro for the Extreme Pro Stock Team. For Hoosier Tire, Liberty's Gears, Kazi Racing Engine. Enoch Love and the team took home the win down at Bradenton for the Drag Illustrated Mountain Order Pro Stock Invitational. Linco drive on that, sorry. Linco and Liberty stickers on the car. See, that's how you confuse an announcer right there. Stroud Safety, that's a safe one. VP Racing Fuels, Ram Clutches, as you can see on the be there at Flow Racing, so everybody at home knows that I'm not as dumb as you think I am. So Doug Nickel, Matt Giagrande, your next two. Here in test session number two, Super Street final call, Super Street final call to lanes five and six, Super Street final call to five and six, bring them on down, Super Street final call, lanes five and six. We need you now. Both drivers out and gone. Good laps both sides of the racetrack. Matt Giagrande, quicker the two, 418, 176 miles per hour. Doug Niggle clicks it early, 430 at only 145 miles per hour. Good rip out of that team. Troy Russell got a good handle on that hot rod. 632, continuing to be a very impressive class this season. A lot of racers racing in an about the same elapsed time range. Speaking of 632, the world champ. Sitting on the left-hand side of the racetrack for Greenbrier Excavating, it's Jeff Melvin.
right hand side of the racetrack. Mr. Cottrell, right hand side. I believe that's an old ex Dave Conley hot rod from the way back in the day when Dave was wheeling the hot rods. Miss seeing Dave Conley behind the wheel of a race car. Like, truly one of the guys that I enjoy watch race, whether it's in a bracket car or in a pro stock car. Maybe we should get Dave Conley back in this car. I think that would be really cool. I like that idea. Maybe I just came up with something. Yeah, that's my single good idea for the day, as my phone will probably ring soon with Dave texting me going, I like that plan. Pretty wild moment right there, as you can see on Flow Racing. Uh, Doug Cottrell looks like he uh, possibly had a fuel line break or something. Man, that thing got hot underneath it, as you can see it on the instant replay. As uh, Man, that thing got hot in a hurry. A lot of flames underneath the car for Doug Cottrell and a lot of smoke inside the race car, but got the fire put out quick. Hopefully... Very, very minimal damage on that thing. And uh, Doug looks like he's doing A-OK -okay outside the race car. and get him checked out uh, by our AMR safety team here in just a moment. But I'm going to guess that that thing had a fuel leak from kind of where that was and kind of how that came about uh, out of a pro stock car. But, wow, what a uh, what a wild moment right there in testing for Doug Cottrell. Um, hope that team can get that back together, and hopefully it's something small and not a big deal. But, man, what a wild moment right there. Uh, so we'll get him all fixed up and touch the racetrack up and make sure we're all cleaned up on that, and uh, we'll go from there. But, wow, a little scary moment right there for Doug Cottrell right on the starting line. Big fire uh, underneath the car, and we will uh, we'll get, thing, get everything rolling from there. Yeah, maybe the team on flow will run that back one more time on the instant replay, but what a wild moment right there for, for Doug Cottrell. Not something you see every day, uh, especially coming out of a pro stock car, uh, but, man, scary moment right there for that team. Uh, shout out to all of our crew for getting getting on that on top and, and getting that fire put out and getting Doug out of the car safe and sound, but, man, wow, a couple wild moments right there for, uh, for Doug Cottrell and the pro stock team, but it looks like very, very minimal damage. I'm um, on the outside of that car. Hopefully, same inside, and uh, hopefully we'll see them back here pretty shortly and uh, get him all checked out and be good to go. So, wow, what a moment here on test number two for Pro Stop.
world's quickest palm hogs to the wild to LAT racing oils, NZK spark plugs, and many more. Our primary objective remains focused on delivering an outstanding customer experience and assisting our customers in reaching the winner circle. Remember to visit ProLineRacing.com. So make sure the racetrack's cleaned up. No fire extinguisher material left out there. It's like we all used our trusty CO2 models and have nothing on the racetrack. So Jimmy, Gavin, and the gang touching everything up, making sure they're good to go. And then we'll get right back to it. Uh, looks like we'll have a single with the past world champ, the reigning world champ. On the left-hand side of the racetrack, Mr. Jeff Melnick. Getting that thing figured out. New combination between the frame rails on for this season. PTP Racing, Patrick Barnhill and the gang. Working out the kinks, getting that thing ready to go. Back in championship form, Melnick will be a handful this weekend. There is no doubt about it. That team's been testing a lot since golf. And everything was starting to line up at the lot. Just ran out of laps on that deal. Being a brand new combination and got it together right at the last minute to make the event. And they were thrashing all weekend long, made a good rip first round, and they will definitely be a handful as the is on here in Pro 632. For 2021, Jessel has turned its focus on sportsman racers with replacement sportsman steel rockers providing an affordable upgrade for its pro aluminum rockers. They're designed to be a direct replacement for Jessel's Pro Aluminum bodies and will bolt to existing stands. Each rocker body is manufactured from a premium heat-treated steel alloy with a black oxide coating, providing years of dependable service. These rockers are the perfect fit for boosted or nitrous motors, which build up extreme cylinder pressures. For the ultimate and affordable steel rockers, give Jessel a call today. Jessel's new Sportsman Roller Lifters feature Jessel's proprietary bronze bushings, the only bushing lifter available with Jessel's unparalleled precision and reliability. Starting with an 8620 heat-treated and polished lifter body, these tie bar style roller lifters have a pressurized oiling circuit and share many of the components found in Jessel's Pro Series tie bars. Available for all popular blocks, the Jessel Sportsman Roller Lifters are perfect for all but the most extreme engine packages. Learn more at Jessel.com. Redline Oil, born in a lab and tested on tracks around the world. You can push it to the limit. We'll protect it. Visit RedlineOil.com to find a dealer near you. WS Construction located in... So we're back... Back to racing, Jeff Melnick, Lexi Tanner. Going to do some damage here. Hopefully not. Let's not do any damage. That, we've already had enough of that. One's enough. So Jeff Melnick, Lexi Tanner, a couple of 632 racers. Going to throw down for their second lap. Super Street, final call of the lane. Super Street, final call. Top Sportsman, first call. Top Sportsman, first call to lanes one. Flow them to three and four. Once again, top sportsman first call. Top sportsman first call. Lanes one and two. Bring them on down. Guess I was playing ads and trying to talk, which that probably didn't work so well. So top sportsman, we need you to one and two. Top sportsman, need you now to lanes one and two. Top sportsman, bring them on down. Lanes one and two. So, I'll call my last run of the weekend right here. Just half of the PDRA announcing team made it. Three quarters, actually. Let's just be honest. The other one's somewhere in Ohio. Or is it Ohio? Welcome to the mic, Scotty Gore. Jeff Mountain, left side. Gore working the bus. Shut her down early. 477 coasting through at 119. 428. For Tanner on the right-hand side. Consistent lap again right there out of Lexi, Scotty. She went 429 first runs. Comes back in the heat and betters it to go 428. So getting there. So, Scotty, the stage is yours. 
I'm going to go do something else now. Daryl Stewart, Jason Ventura, the next pair up, 632 on the right-hand side. Stewart now in pro stock trim in the Camaro on the left-hand side. Both these machines utilizing Clayton Murphy's talents from chassis engineering. Out of the racetrack, 412 with an 8 of 176. 443 for Jason Ventura on the right hand side in the brand X for Marine. Top Sportsman, we've called you. Top Sportsman, we've called you. You should be in the lanes. Pair of Liberty's Gears Extreme Pro Stock Machines pulling in with through the water box. Stephen Booth, left side of the race. Runner-up at our first event down at Golan Motorsport Park a couple weeks ago. Chris Powers on the right-hand side. Sunny's world-class racing engine. Chevrolet Camaro. The past world champion. And a pit any top sportsman cars. Top sportsman cars. Paid to test. Staging lanes one and two. Top sportsman cars. We need you to staging lanes one and two, please. Shuts are down early, but a 410 with a 7 at 177 here on the left hand side for Stephen Boone.
Jeremy Huffman left side of the racetrack. Elijah Morton on the right hand side. machine left side of the racetrack always a strong running hot rod led the points for a lot of last season did not make the season opener in Galat but he is here at Virginia Motorsports Park for race number two on tour Continues to struggle. Jeremy Huffman shuts it down early. Coast through it only 145 miles an hour to 423. drive tech we drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward a versatile all-in-one solution we're here for you every step of the way and that's why you see fuel tech everywhere Regulators, filters, fueling champions.
Derek Mota first out. The Mustang left side. The Jamie Miller tune machine. Camaro annihilates the tires immediately. Uh, gets that a little bit and then goes up on the tire as well. Gage Lamas next up on the left hand side. Matt Shallow, the Camaro on the right-hand side of the racetrack, coming off a runner-up finish at our season opener at Glott Motorsports Park. I believe that's Brand Shots on the left-hand side.
Both of them on and off the gas, and then a big puff of smoke for the Corvette down at the finish line. All right, going to do a quick check of the racing surface. Make sure things are good to go. Brad Cox on the right-hand side, the Mustang. Our final Super Street machine. I believe we're going to some top sportsmen. The top sportsmen, if you're not in the lanes waiting for your turn, you're late. Top sportsman cars, we need you. Final pro car to qualify this session, or I shouldn't say qualify, test this session. Brad Cox, the Ford Mustang on the right-hand side of the racetrack. Three fires, and he's off. Gets through the part where everybody else was having trouble. Spinning and shuts it down just a hair early. Only goes through the traps at 119 miles an hour. 5.05 for Brad Cox. So we'll take a minute here. Spruce up the racing surface. We're going to our Magna Fuel Top Sportsman cars for their test session number two.
welded. Pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. In the pit area, need top dragster, top dragster to staging lanes five and six. If you paid the test today, top dragster, staging lanes five and six, please. Top dragster, we need you to staging lanes five and six, please. All right, time for a little top sportsman testing. Barry Daniluk, 
Right hand side Camaro out of Mooresville, North Carolina. 900 plus cubic inches, naturally aspirated. Good looking Chevy too here on the summit side of the racetrack. Danilov kicks it sideways. Has to abort mission. Chevy 2 goes a 546 at 125. Tommy Brown on the right hand side of the racetrack. Francis Jarrell, left side of the racetrack, the Malibu. Three ninety six seven and one eighty six for Tommy Brown. Jarrell goes a five eighty five at one nineteen. Zach Hauser left side of the racetrack. Jeff Simmons on the right-hand side. Two of our elite machines here on the top sportsman side of things. Simmons, it's all sorts of crossed up. Hauser with a huff of smoke goes to 408 or 144.
Orange Camaro left side of the racetrack, black Camaro on the right. side gets out of shape 405 left side at 180. Buddy McGowan the orange machine left side of the racetrack and Cheyenne Stanley on the right hand side the turbocharged Ford Mustang. Got the Mustang wound up 396 at 195 miles per hour, 463.3 at 149 for Buddy McGowan. Top dragster, we've called you. Top dragster, we've called you for T2. Bracket bash, we need you as well. Bracket bash, we need you. Travis Butler, left side, the Corvette out of Pocosin. And Dan Christopher, the right hand side, TT Motorsports Machine. Four twenty nine to a four thirty one. Junior Ward left side, the Chevy two. And Germano on the right hand side.
court, 21 at 167, 465 at 159 left side for Ward. Jeff Brooks, left side. The Kaiser Compressors, Henry J. Brooks getting all out of shape again. Duster not quite getting up to speed there on the right-hand side. 520 to a 515 for Brooks. Stacey Johnson, the right-hand side, Camaro. Lone Ford Mustang here, left side. Stacey on the right side. Left side, Thunder's through to 462 at 155. Shoots out early here on the left side. Scotty Wise right side. Thunders through at a 399, 187 lap. 439 at 164 with all the shoots out here on the left side.
Brian Tiff on the right hand side, the Schween Motorsports Corvette. And Dan Ferguson here on the left hand side. The Dean Young Motorsports machine. Brian has his share of issues. Coast through at a 480 at 109. Top Junior Dragster will take you to stage and lanes one and two. Top Junior Dragsters one and two. Pro Juniors three and four. Top Juniors one and two. Pro Juniors three and four. Joe Robichek on the right-hand side. Karsten Nair just left side. Another one of those Schween Motorsports hot rods. These two have no issues going A to B. 425 right side, 438 for Karsten. Bruce Thrift, left side of the racetrack. Colin McGon GTO and Tim Papp on the right hand side. With the reigning elite top sportsman world champion Donnie Urban as a crew chief.
Side by side, Bruce doing a little driving here on the left-hand side. He'll go through at a 392 at 190, but look at Tim Papp, 386 at 195 miles an hour. Mark Payne, the House of Pain here, left side of the racetrack out of Waynes, Vegas, Virginia. Twin turbo LS platform underneath the hood of that red machine. Double O two reaction time on the right hand side, and that's the better of the two. But the better ET goes here to Mark Payne, four twenty six at one sixty nine, four thirty at one sixty five in the atomizer lane. Bracket Bash, if you paid the test, you should be in the staging lanes. Top juniors are looking for you. Top juniors, one and two. Pro juniors, three and four. Top juniors, one, two. Pro juniors, staging lanes, three and four. Robbie Crenshaw, right-hand side of the racetrack. Seven reaction time for Rob. It goes a 432 at 165. Dragster 534. Glenn Butcher on the right-hand side. And Brooks McMath with his brand spanking new wheelie bar, left side. If you were tuned in to Galat, you saw exactly why that car now needs a wheelie bar. He skied this dragster over here on the left side.
Butcher going to make a hit right here. 379 one at 196 miles per hour. Brooks goes through at a 439.5 at 159. So as Tyler stated earlier, no names in the computer yet until we get into qualifying. I believe Derek Brown behind the wheel of the Nova on the right side. Issues for the Brown team and the Nova. 442 over here on the left side. Dickie Smith goes 005 red, left side, 441 at 159, 444 on the right-hand side. Kenny Young next up, left side of the racetrack.
448 to a 478 for the last pair. Ricky Molnar up next on the right hand side. Four twenty-eight for Molnar, one sixty-two. Four fifty here on the left side at one fifty-three. Kellen Farmer next up on the right-hand side. Team Race Tech and Frank Falter, the Candy Man, here on the left-hand side of the racetrack. Both of them have issues, but look at Farmer's reaction time. Trips zip, falter, 012 and behind. Wow. Go out there and strike the tires. They're going to coast through to 562 and a 693. Top juniors, you should be in staging lanes one and two. Pro juniors. Rodney wheeling the S10 dragster goes through with a 3.800190. Rodney's still getting there. Oh, there, there, there he is. 629 at 107.
381 with a three here on the left side at 189. 428 at 161 in the atomizer lane. Patrick McMath next up on the right hand side of the racetrack. Mass 10 red, 439, 159, 442 here on the summit side of the racetrack at 156. Richard Payne next out, the House of Payne Chevy 2 on the right-hand side of the racetrack. Tisha Wilson, Greenbrier excavating machine here on the left side. Four twelve for Tisha, one hundred and forty six. Richard Payne goes to five sixty five at one hundred and twenty. behind the wheel it was dad's dragster here on the right hand side making some licensing passes straight from a junior dragster to this monster sitting on the right hand side of the racetrack 